Hi Vicki, this is Jennifer and this is my final video that I'm going to do. As you can see, I've got my hair cut, I'm at home, I'm in a comfortable spot and I wanted to do my reflection lesson here in a little tiny area that I call home. So my reflection is this. I was chewing gum during the lesson uh, to moisten my mouth, but it is a bad example. Instead, I should have moistened my mouth um, and had water ready to drink due to the medication that tends to be drying me out during the day. I was also nervous in my lesson introduction. Because of that, I don't feel that I presented myself as a competent individual or even a teacher. The room temperature was about 65 degrees, and because of that, we were dressed in our jackets and coats. I believe that this is okay because given the alternative to being chilled, we were indeed comfortable. However, this is not a normal classroom, and because of the temperature the past four days in that class was being 54 degrees, it caused us to switch classrooms and not, on, and not having all the manipulatives that we normally have. I think I should have also probably modified the lesson more by making pictures and allowing the student to color them and make choices based upon her likes and dislikes. In addition, I think I expected more from one other student, so preloading pictures and vocabulary related to the menu would have been a better thing to do to have a clearer understanding of her with the lesson and see if she could understand the lesson. In addition, I think the lesson went well because the students are motivated by having food choices. It also went well because the students were engaged and motivated to understand what I wanted from them. I also gave them PAT, you know, preferred activity time, if they indeed followed the instruction they did. That PAT time sometimes is time with me, reading a book, playing games on the computer, playing board games. We played Yahtzee. At the end of the lesson, a tiny child, he was about six, came into the classroom and looked shocked that we were in there. So I had to stop the lesson and ask if he was okay. We finished the lesson, but the interruption was a bit much for one of the students. One more thing. I believe modifying the lesson of menus or any other lessons for individuals who need the modifications are indeed helpful. But with so many different disabilities, it would take planning time and staff time to set up each modification. I wonder if there is another way to modify a lesson with hands-on connection in a general way to make it easier for the teacher, yet fulfill the learner's ability. Thank you very much.